Hi everybody, this is Clark Kent, and here we're going to use the power of graphing lines using intercepts. There we go. Alright, uh, okay, so some definitions, you guys. Whoops, I spelled definitions wrong. Whoops, there should be an I right there. Let's fix that. Definitions. I-O-N-S. Golly. Okay, an x-intercept, you guys, is where the x-coordinate of a point... Uh, uh, where the graph crosses the x-axis. So it, it's the x-coordinate uh, where the graph calls, uh, crosses the x-axis. And then a y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. Okay, I'll show you an example in just a second. And then how to find your x-intercept. You let y equal 0 and you just solve for x. It's really easy. I'll show you. Okay, and to, and to find the y-intercept, you let x equal 0 and solve for y. Okay, it's, it's easy. So find the x and y intercepts of each uh, equation. So here we go. 3x plus 2y equals 6. Okay. So the x-intercept is when y equals 0. So go ahead and let y be 0 and just solve for x. So I just plugged in 0 right there next to the 2. So it's 2y, so it's 2 times 0. And then what happens is, is that 2 times 0 goes away. You just have 3x equals 6 and then divide by 3, you get x equals 2. All right, so the x-intercept is x equals 2. All right, easy, huh? And then the y-intercept, you guys, is when you let um, uh, x equals 0. It's kind of backwards, you guys. So when you let x equal 0, then I put in 0 right there for x. See right there? And uh, so 3 times 0. And then what happens is the 3 uh, x goes away, and you're left with 2y equals 6. And divide by 2, you get y equals 3. So the y-intercept is equal to 3. Okay, easy, isn't it? All right, sometimes you get decimals. That's okay. I'll show you how to, how to get a decimal answer. Okay, so 4x uh, minus 2y equals 10. So to get the x-intercept, I'm going to let y equal 0. So it gets rid of the 2y part, and so you have 4x equals 10. And then 4 doesn't go into 10 evenly, so I'm going to show you old school long division. I know you guys are used to calculators, you guys. So it's not going to go into it e e evenly, so I had to add a decimal and the 0 right there. So, uh, so I just bring the decimal straight up on top. You guys remember doing long division. You guys just didn't like doing it, so you conveniently forgot. But it's easy. Then you ask yourself... How many times does 4 go into 10? 4 goes into 10 2 times, okay? And then you do 4 times 2. 4 times this number right here. 4 times 2. Last time I checked, it was 8. So it goes right underneath the 10. Then you subtract. Remember this? And then 10 minus 8 is 2. And then, and then you remember now, the 0 comes sliding right down. So when I slide that 0 down, then I do it one more time, you guys. 4 goes into this number now, 20. 4 goes into 20. Five times, okay. So, it, um, so then you get 20, and you get the uh, remainder of zero. So the answer is 2.5. So here we're finding the x-intercept. So then the x-intercept is uh, 2.5. Okay, the y-intercept just let x equal zero. So you get uh, gets rid of the 4x, but you still have the negative in front of the 2y, and 2 goes into 10 five times, so it's negative five. Okay. All right, now, I just had some requests, you guys, to show long division. Some people forgot how to do 4 goes into 10 to get 2.5. So that's just a reminder, you guys. I know some of you guys are thinking, man, I don't know why he's doing that. But I get a lot of people that uh, they just forget how to do long division. All right, so uh, so graph the equation. Label the points where the line crosses the x-axis. Okay, this way is easier than the last method, I think. We just use our intercept method. So the intercept method is when... Uh, uh, we let uh, y equal 0. When I let y be 0, I'm finding the x intercept. So it gets rid of this 4y, so I'm left with 3x equals 12 right here. Okay, so 3 goes into 12 four times, so that's the x-intercept. Okay, and so to get the y-intercept, we let x equals 0, and it gets rid of the 3x part, and you're left with 4y equals 12, or y equals 3. Those are my x and y intercepts. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and graph. There's the x-intercept right there, there's the y-intercept right there, and then, of course, make a line going straight through them. And it said label the points where the line crosses the x-axis, so this is 3, this is 4, so I had to label it. I'm just following the directions up there. And in my class, I want you to always label the line, so go ahead and uh, put the original equation next to the line right there. Okay, one more. All right, uh, okay, negative 3x plus 5y equals negative 15. So the x-intercept is when y equals 0, so the y part goes away, so negative 3x equals negative 15, and 3 goes into 15 five times, and since you're dividing both by negatives, then it becomes a positive, so there's my x-intercept, 5. Okay, to get the y-intercept, uh, the x part goes away, because I let x equal 0, so I'm left with 5y equals uh, uh, 15, so, or negative 15, and 5 goes into negative 15, negative 3 times, okay, so then we go ahead and graph, uh, there's my x-y chart. All right, and then there's my x-intercept. 
There's my y-intercept at negative 3. Go ahead and put a line between those two, and then go ahead and label that line right there.